Hey, y'all. This is Audra Hicks, your Tennessee realtor. I wanted to talk to y'all about a few things that you might want to know if you are going to buy a house with someone that you are not married to. So please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I put the real in real estate. So many types of questions come up when uh, my buyers are looking to purchase a home, um, especially if uh, they are not married and buying a home with their significant other or their best friend or whatever they are, whoever they're buying their home with. Um, so once they buy a home, you need to know that if whoever this is, whether it's you or them or whatever, if you have judgments against you or say you have back child support or taxes owed uh, that have not been paid, things like that, they are going to be put on the home. So when you go to sell that home, it becomes a lien on that home and it will come out of the proceeds of the sale of home. So you may have equity of 50000 but if you have, you know, 30000 worth of all your judgments, all of those are going to be taken out. The title company, when they do their searches, um, whenever we get under contract on a home and the title company does a search, they will find on each people, they look up on those people if there are any judgments or liens on the property or anything like that. Um, and then we get called and, and they're like, okay, so here's this, this, and this. Um, we're getting this cleared up. Sometimes over the years when um, clients have judgments, um, they some of them are have already been paid so they have to prove that and uh, you know get all of that done so that they can give a clear title at closing to the other person buying the home so just wanted y'all to know of some of the things that we run into on a daily basis that um, might be good news for you to use uh, whenever you are thinking about purchasing a home with someone that you are not married to. Um, you know, it is still a, uh, like having a relationship with the person if you are buying a home with them. So you got to really trust in that person that you are buying that home with. It goes both ways on both of you. Uh, but over the years, I've had many clients buy homes that are not married most of the time they end up getting married after they buy the home and then you know sometimes children come right after that too um but you know it's funny how buying a home does that to people <laughs> so there are some that do end up separating or breaking up or just going their separate ways you know and they want to sell the home and stuff like that so that does happen um but you know, just know that if they do owe back child support or back taxes, whoever this may be, or, you know, they might have had a contractor do something to a home and there might be a, a lien put on the home for something, uh, any of those type things, they're going to have to be cleared up uh, before closing. So clearing up means if they haven't been paid, they are going to come out of the proceeds of the sale of the home. So like I had said, if you are going to, end up walking away with 50000 but you have judgments, liens, whatever, in the amount of thirty, then it's going to be 20000 that you walk away with. So um, uh, just wanted to give you all some uh, news that you could use here, um, just a little bit, a tidbit of information on how that works with title. Title will do a title search, and um, they search each one of the owners as well for anything that might come up in the process. So um, you have to be able to give a clear title to that other side, the buyer that's buying the home, and uh, they don't want to have to have judgments that are left there. So everything gets cleared up, and that will come out in the process. So uh, you might want to ask whoever you're buying the home with, uh, with if they have any of that kind of thing before you buy the home. Maybe you might think about not buying a home with that said person, uh, you still might want to buy a home, especially if it's going to be one you think you're going to be with for a long time or forever. Uh, and, you know, and y'all might buy a home or you uh, and stay in it 
five, ten years, it might all be cleared up by then. Who knows? But um, I just thought that'd be some good information to share with y'all today if you had any questions on that. Um, because buyers do. There's a lot of uh, things on Google. There's a lot of uh, misinformation out there. There's a lot of good information you can find on Google. It, you just never know. So, uh, so I try to go to the source of whatever questions my clients have. And uh, if it's a title question, I go to my title girl. If I, it is um, a lender question, I go to the lender we're using. Um, if it's a home inspection question, we go to our home inspector, you know. But most of the time, I do understand and know and have the knowledge to answer it um, with um, good intentions. But sometimes I still want to make sure that I'm right on some things. So um, I just thought I would share that with y'all. Not saying not to buy a home with someone else. Just be cautious because that is a long-term relationship with that person. And you just want to know that you can trust them and, and everything. If you're buying a home, you better trust the person anyway. Um, so, but not saying that it's a bad thing. Uh, most of all my clients that have ever bought a home that are not married, it works out wonderful. There's just a few that do end up separating or whatever. Uh, there's even divorces that happen with the married ones. I mean, you just never know with some people and relationships and uh, where you're going to be later. So um, just thought I would share that information with y'all today. So if you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much for coming today. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.